Get going in three, two, one. We are underway in a battle to see who the true Highlander team is. Highlanders on one side, Highlander Robotics on the other. There can be only one. The Red Alliance scoring game pieces from midfield, but so is Blue. Both alliances look pretty productive, autonomous, but the Highlanders, 44-99, they get hung up on that charge station, affect the charge station points. Some heavy impact as the drivers take their controls. It's pretty close. But the Blue Alliance is marginally ahead. Red is looking to change that. However, the Janksters spring to life, fly off of that charge station, face some heavy impacts from Jack in the Bot. 44-99 for Red. Lacing a cone up high. But Blue is ahead for the moment. 80-33, 29-10. As well as the Robot Dolphins continuing to score. Robot Dolphins filling up that hybrid row on the bottom. That will be useful if this Blue Alliance is trying to fill up that grid. Bread for the Red Alliance. Placing a cone up high, completing a link. That individual game piece worth up to 10 points. Which is going to be a lot and help the Red Alliance, help the Red Alliance get back in this match. Robot Dolphins and Janksters getting together in the middle of the field. Now it's Highlander and the Robot Dolphins. All three Red Alliance robots collecting game pieces from their loading zone, but Blue is still the one leading this match. A little bit of a traffic jam in the Red Alli Blue Alliance loading zone between Robot Dolphins and Jack in the Bot. They both break away, however. Jack in the Bot flying over that charge station, taking some air as they continue to increase their lead over Red. Fifty-nine forty. Briefly not moving in front of the Blue Alliance community, but they get going, use that ground intake, get a cone off the ground. The Blue Alliance has filled up their grid. We're gonna see some supercharged nodes happening in just a moment. But we've got less, about 15 seconds left. Some last minute scoring going, taking place. We got two red robots on and level. All three blue robots trying to do that. There we go. All three blue robots, two red robots level as time expires. And the results for that match are in. It's going to be the Blue Alliance taking it 204 to 155. Once again, all available ranking points claimed by both alliances in that match. RSN, break that down for us. Great performance by both alliances. I'd like to welcome back to the deck. I'd like to welcome back to the desk. Izzy, Izzy, welcome back. Good to see you. Hi, what's the tea? What have I missed? Uh, lots of really great robot matches here. Uh, we saw in this one some supercharging going on, and we want to go to instant replay to show you guys a little bit of what's happening. So we're starting after autonomous mode. I want you guys to focus on the little robot that could. 2910, whoop, 2910. I'm going to restart this after autonomous mode here. Uh, we got autonomous mode. Doing a good job in auto here. I apologize, gang. I hit the wrong button. But... Again, look at the robot 2910, the little robot that could. It's going to just find a way to get through these robots in the middle of the field, threading the needle. And one thing to note about 2910, they are small, but they are stout. Look at that. Look at that maneuver. I'm just going to pause that and, and roll it back real quick so you can watch that again. Look at the force of this impact in slowest motion here. Boom. No, it just, look at that. That's some WWE level impact. Absolutely. Right there. I mean, if, if, you, it's, if you've heard of like elastic and inelastic, that was just like all the energy transferred in that poor red robot. 
Uh, Blue Alliance putting up a lot of points there. I will say this though, Brad and the rest of the Red Alliance doing an awesome job filling up tons of points and getting the triple balance at the end to get some of the ranking points before they uh, before the end of the match. Yeah, what I really liked from Blue was uh, just like the the like like how pleasant it is to watch their their robots go through their paths mm. and stagger so well in and out of their load zone as one robot's in, one robot's out, and it's the entire match. It's so pleasing to watch. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we have qualification match 31 coming up. We've got uh, Sty Pulse over on Blue with the Hawaiian kids up against High Tide. And yeah, High Tide world champion with Neshoba all the way from Massachusetts and MVRT. Let's send it to the field for introductions and get this match rolling. Take it away, guys.